フレーズ管楽器のいわゆるビバップといったフレーズですねオルガードがないすごい爽やかなフレーズでポイントはドミナントのところにありますはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはいはい Then it's no use all the time, but sounds very, very complicated, right? But this is very simple stuff. So, how do a player play? How to sing him? How to play the guitar? How to see the fingerboard? Yeah, let's do a little by little. So, after I watch this video, next your chance to play. Okay, first time I'm doing the three points for practice licks. First is a chord position, second is a chord tone, third is a scale. How to use those three points? Yeah, let's do in next analyzation. Before practice licks, Let's prepare. What is that? Yeah, please play chord progression first. This is very important skill in jazz music. This is very important skill in jazz music. Yeah, how you think about the jazz music? You have a lot of transport, right? In the same songs. Yeah. So that's why it's very difficult to play improvisation. But if you take your to it's easy to transport with chord and licks. Then if you're interested, please watch I've heard before how to practice the leaks. I tell in the details of the video. Of course, this video I explain very easy, so after this video, please check it. To play chord progression, what is that? Yeah. To play chord progression, yeah, I often do. But it not memorize the chord form. Yeah. To play chord progression mean you have to input this chord sound. Then progression is move. So, how to change the chord sound? Right? So, you have to input this chord sound first, then play the licks on it. This is a very important. If you take your to do it, it's easy to transfer the key, the chord with licks. Okay, now I just do a little extra because somebody interested about comping. Please enjoy to practice like this. Of course, swing force is no problem. One, two, three, four, 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 one. Yeah, no problem. Okay, thank you for waiting. Let's analyze the list. Do you remember the three points? The one that we have to scale, right? Which scale we using? Yeah, we using the mod scale. If you don't know about the mod scale, please watch I heard it before about about mod scale. The video I tell in the detail. If you know that stuff, it's easy to understand today's topic. Of course, this video I explain very easy. So after watch this video, please check it. Okay. The first is the chord position, right? How to figure out the chord position? The guitar has the same note and different string. It's complicated. Yeah, yeah, like this, you can play a lot, right? Even different octave, but but any position is okay. Yeah, basically, guitarists take uses and six and fifth string position, right? Yeah, figure out around here. Then today is here, the close to six string position. Four string position. Then chord tone one three five seven one three five. Yeah. Then scale is B flat, uh, Dorian scale. Yeah. That's it. Then chord tone is most important for make the chord sound, the chord note. Then, then connect to the chord note is a scale. Yeah. Like this. <laughs> Okay, four string portion, exact same, the uh, six string portion, one, five, uh, seven, third, right? One, five, seven, third, exact same of that up. Okay, let's do the licks. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Yeah, first, uh, one and a half is a rest. One, two. Then, the second upbeat is this night. Uh, then, then, one, two, right? Then, second upbeat, play this note. 
this is a six. Yeah, start with a six is very, very rare. It's very important. So I recommend to remember this list. Start with six. Then six, sevens, first. Seven, first, sevens. Then triplet. Right? On this three note is on B flat seven. One, two, three. But play the triplet, it makes more rich sound. Then with the reason. One, two. Yeah. B flat is only here, but start with the six and then use the triplet for the reason. Yeah, this is very important for the next one. So next one is E flat seven here. Then a okay, so system G form. Then chord tone one three five seven one three five seven one. Then scale is the E flat mixed rhythm. Let's do that. Mix. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So this is here, right? This is major third. So first B flat sevens approach to this major third for E flat seven, the dominant seven. Then third, ninth, first. Because guitar is it's difficult to skip, right? So very typical saxophone uh, licks. No major third, eleventh. Why? It don't want to finish. You it want more floating. So that why eleventh. from the E flat. Then low, high. Yeah, same. Uh, make contrast like that. Then next one is F7. F7 is a little difficult. So first time you have to think E F minor 7. So chord tone, 1, 3, 5, 7, 1, 3, 5, 7. Then scale alien, uh, natural minor. But if you know everything, it's very simple, right? Okay, analyzation is finished, but please don't stop yet. Why? 
You just play only one position. Please play the guitar stick. Use the sixth and the fifth string position, right? Please play around here at least two positions. Different key, your favorite key, no favorite key, whatever you can pick up. Only one different key, please practice. Yeah, I don't say 12 key, I know you're busy, so even just one position is okay. Okay, I just do E flat, so. F minor to 5 is a B flat. Yeah, this one. Then start with a 6, right? So you have to see this. Yeah. Do the little by little. Then if you play the different key or different version, I uh, say figure out some new hint. So that's why I recommend to play. Okay, last time I played two chorus improvisation. First, I just play randomly, they connect to these bebop leaks. Yeah, how was it? Please play your leaks to connect to bebop leaks. Bebop to your leaks. Yeah, like that. Please enjoy to practice like this. Then, if they use it, it can play in jam session. Okay, today this is it. Please enjoy to practice like this, then enjoy jazz guitar life together. Okay, thank you for watching this end. I hope Mimi did for a video too. Okay, thank you very much. See you next time. Bye.